Hello everybody, welcome back to another election prediction video. This time we're going to be doing an alternate history 2016 Democratic primary if Joe Biden ran in it. So, first of all, if Biden ran, he was like polling around like 20% of the um, Democratic primary polls, so he probably would have had at least that solid 20% base in, in pretty much every state, and that would kind of change the dynamics of the race a lot, because he would have polled more from Hillary than from Bernie. So, he probably would have helped Bernie if he was in the race. That's kind of my assessment of it, because, again, Sanders, who's more getting that progressive left, and they would have stuck with him if Biden were to run. Maybe Biden would have stole some independence from him, but he would have hurt Hillary Clinton a lot more, especially with the black voters taking a lot of their votes away from her. But uh, let's start off with the first state, which is Iowa. So, the Iowa caucus, I think Sanders probably would have ended up winning it, by a plurality. It wouldn't have been a majority. Biden would have at least got like 20%. He was around 20% in mostly every state. Sanders, he probably would have got probably around 43%. So he would have won him by like a likely margin or so. Hillary would have got the rest. But already Sanders is off to a better start than he was back in 2016. But he does have less delegates. New Hampshire, he Bernie Sanders had a huge lead here with independent voters. So Biden, I think he probably would have done a bit worse than Iowa. He finished in third. It probably would have gotten a lower vote share than 20%. But Sanders, he would have had a pretty big victory. It honestly wouldn't shock me if he got 12 delegates here while Hillary got eight. Uh, he won by like 20 points back in 2016. We could look at that margin yeah, he crushed Hillary here, so I think he'd probably end up crushing her again in the state of New Hampshire by this margin or so. Moving on to the state of Nevada. Again, with Nevada, there's a uh, lot of things to consider here. Let's just pull this up. So we'll just move this down. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so with Nevada... Hillary only won by five points. It's a closed caucus, so Sanders wouldn't have be able to rely on those independent voters or so. So that could have hurt him. But I still think Biden would have stayed in the race to at least South Carolina. Or even Super Tuesday, honestly. Let's see if he could win a state, because he might as well just try. But uh, in Nevada, I still think Biden will still be in the race. He'd still get like that sizable, like probably 17% of the vote. Sanders, he probably would have ended up narrowly edging out Hillary Clinton here, similar to how I edged out her in Iowa in this prediction. So Sanders already with the first three primary victories. State of South Carolina, I think Sanders probably would have ended up getting third here, probably only getting like 22%. Biden, I think, would have done well with black voters. He probably would have gotten to the 30s. Hillary probably would have got 47%. So at this point, I think Biden could spin it like, oh, I, I'm improving in South Carolina. So I still think he would have probably stayed in at least because he did have a pretty decent second place finish here. So now we're going into the next few primaries, which is just a whole bunch of them on Super Tuesday. And will Biden be able to win the state? Let's see. But uh, with Vermont, I think Sanders probably would have still... Okay, so back in Vermont, Hillary Clinton didn't even get 15% of the vote. And uh, it's kind of tough to see. Would Sanders clear that 85% threshold? I mean, it probably would have been something like this. I still think he would have gotten most of the delegates because I still don't think Biden or Hillary would have gotten over 15%. That's the rule in Democratic primaries. You need 15% of the vote to at least get some delegates statewide. So Joe Biden's effect is he would have taken a lot of votes away from Hillary Clinton. I mean, probably something like that. Sanders probably still would have got some delegates, but a lot less. Again, a lot of Sanders voters in 2016 were just anti-Hillary. Hillary would have done well in Arkansas, Biden probably a bit better than Sanders here. Tennessee, he probably, yeah, I think he would probably get around 30-something percent. Sanders would have done a bit worse, while Hillary gets those delegates. Virginia, this is one state where I also think Biden probably would have done a bit better than Sanders here. He, Biden probably would have made Virginia actually decently close, but still not enough. State of Georgia, again, Biden would have probably gotten third place here, or second place here, probably around 30%. Sanders, the very low vote total of like 21. 
Oklahoma. This is the one state I think Biden could have won. Again, there's a lot of independents here. This is more of a conservative state in Democratic primaries. So they didn't like Hillary, but they just hated Hillary more that they went with Sanders, who is a lot more left-wing than her. And with Biden, he's in that comfortable middle ground. So I think he probably would have ended up winning this state, but it would have been close between him and Sanders. Hillary would have definitely gotten a third here. Probably with like 23%. But uh, yeah, it would have been very narrow, but I still think Biden would have edged out Sanders here in the state of Oklahoma. State of Texas. This is one state where I could see Sanders actually getting second against Biden. It's not as... Uh... Again... Sanders didn't do terrible in Texas. He still got like 33% of the vote or so. So I still think he probably would have done a bit better. And it's an open primary. And in this scenario, he would have had a lot more momentum. So I still think he would have got second here. Probably like, uh, probably about 34%. Biden would have gotten in third. Probably around there. Sanders actually would have made Texas a bit closer. So... Still not enough to win the state, of course, but Biden still is helping out Sanders quite a bit in these states. He would have definitely helped out in the state of Massachusetts and probably would have got Bernie a narrow victory here. Hillary probably would have gotten pretty decently close still. Let me lower the margin a bit. I think Biden would have at least gotten like 18% here in Massachusetts. In Colorado, it's a caucus here, so I think Sanders probably would have dominated still. Biden would have made it close in this caucus, but I still think Hillary would have gotten second. Again, Minnesota was also a caucus state back here. Yeah, it was an open caucus, which is even better for Sanders. And let's see his margin there, 61%. Biden still would have gotten at least in the 19% range. Hillary probably would have got... How did she do in Minnesota? She would have split voters with Biden, so it's probably around... 28, 29%. Uh, I think that's all the primaries, right? Let's check the list. Oh, we forgot American Samoa. How can we forget about that place? Uh, Hillary probably still would have won. It was a closed caucus, but uh, it wouldn't have been by a huge margin because Biden would have at least gotten one delegate there. So at this point, I think Biden would drop out of the race. He only won one state. He's in a distant third. It really is like no possible margin or path here for him so he probably would have dropped out and uh it really depends he could endorse sanders or he probably would just stay out of the race if he endorses sanders sanders would have a very good shot at winning the primary if he doesn't endorse him it's probably leaning towards hillary and i think he probably would have leaned toward not endorsing like he did in 2016 and endorse and didn't endorse neither candidate so we're going off of the next states here this a bunch of caucuses held on the weekend in one primary. But uh, starting off Louisiana, Sanders would have gotten pretty much like demolished here with black voters like it happened last time. And it's a closed primary even, so he would have done even worse. Sanders would have done great in Maine, probably getting like that much delegates here. How well did he do back in there? 17-8, so it's about the same. Uh, Nebraska and Kansas, those are both closed caucuses, but he still would have done extremely well here getting most of the delegates against Hillary, probably beating her by about two-thirds or so. Again, he was beating her by landslides in these caucuses. How did Nebraska go? Yeah, it was about 10 to 15. Okay, so the next one, Democrats abroad. This is another thing that uh, Sanders would have done very well in, so he probably would have won by that margin. And then we have Michigan and Mississippi, where Sanders had the biggest upset in the primary polling history in the state of Michigan, where he pulled out a victory after being down by like 30 points. So yeah, I think Sanders would have won Michigan in this timeline still, while also just doing pretty poorly in the state of Mississippi. But then we go on to Northern Marinas, and I feel, still think Sanders would have lost this. I don't think he would have won it like he did back in 2020. But uh, what we have up next, Florida, Illinois, Missouri, North Carolina, Ohio. So Hillary Clinton had swept all these primaries, and I think they would have gone differently if Biden were in the race. And we also have the factor in Sanders would have had a lot more momentum. He actually won in a lot more states already, like Iowa, New Hampshire, Nevada. So I think that would have changed the results in Missouri, especially. He probably would have won that state this time around, and he probably would have also won in Illinois. 
but uh, it would have been a bit narrow. It is Hillary Clinton's birth state, but he still would have lost in Florida. Again, progressive policies never really do that amazing here. North Carolina, he actually did pretty decently in the primary here. I think he would have done a tiny bit better if Biden were in. But I still think Ohio goes about the same. I still think Hillary Clinton ends up winning this primary, even though it was an open one. But Sanders probably does a bit better than he did last time in uh, the real 2016. So then we have Arizona, Idaho, and Utah. Arizona is a closed primary, so Sanders, he would have made it decently close with the delegates, but still would have lost. But Utah, he actually crushed it against Hillary here, winning like nearly 79% of the delegates or something. So again, I think he would have crushed it in those states. Moving on, Alaska, Hawaii, and Washington, and they were mostly just caucus states. So he was crushing Hillary Clinton here in these caucuses. Getting like 79% of the vote, uh, freaking about how well did he do in Hawaii? It's wow, 17 to 8. It's pretty impressive. But uh, yeah, he would have just kind of swept Hillary with these delegates here, and these caucus states still would probably remain about the same. Wisconsin and Wyoming are up next. He probably would have done a bit better in Wyoming probably at least winning more delegates than her instead of tying like he did last time around. He probably would have won about 60 to 40 against Hillary Clinton in the state of Wisconsin. And look how close that delegate math is. She's only up by 20 delegates. Even though they're super delegates, they typically go with the person who wins the most pledged delegates. However, this is the issue for Sanders. You see how many closed primaries there are? Like, nearly every single one of these states are a closed primary, and that's kind of why he lost last time around. But in New York, I think he would have done marginally better because he would have had more momentum in this scenario, but still not enough to beat Hillary Clinton in New York, but he would have made it close. Uh, in Maryland, he would have still ended up losing. Again, he just didn't do well with black voters. Same with Delaware, but he would have had a bit more of a decent margin here. Pennsylvania, it was a closed primary, which is why he lost pretty badly here. So I think I'd put it a bit better because he would have had more momentum. But I think he would have still won Rhode Island, probably by a pretty decent margin. I actually think he would have won Connecticut here with a bit more momentum here. So he would have had a narrow victory against her here. But at this point, Hillary Clinton just padded out her delegate lead by quite a bit from those primaries. So it's really a question of where they will be able to finish with more delegates. So we have Indiana and Guam next. Indiana, Sanders still would have won the state by a pretty decent margin. Guam would have gone to Hillary still. <clears throat> Nebraska, oh, Nebraska already voted. It was just a non-binding primary. So we had West Virginia, Kentucky, and Oregon. I actually think Sanders would have swept them all. Again, Kentucky, he only lost by a thousand votes, so with more momentum, he would have won that state. Uh, West Virginia, he actually did pretty darn well in. Oregon, I think he would have done pretty well in as well. So again, it's making a close race, and the last few primaries are approaching. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico probably still would have gone to Hillary Clinton. She would have won by pretty much a landslide in Virgin Islands. Uh, Puerto Rico, Sanders would have done a bit better, but not by much. Hillary Clinton just had a pretty good appeal to Latino voters. And we're up with the last few primaries. New Jersey, it's a very machine politics state. <clears throat> And they were pretty much lined up behind Hillary Clinton, the establishment, so I think she would have done pretty darn well in New Jersey. <laughs> However, I think a few things changed. South Dakota and New Mexico, Hillary Clinton barely won these states, so with more momentum behind Sanders, I think he would have actually pulled off a narrow victory in South Dakota, narrow victory in New Mexico. He nearly won them in the last time. He would have done well in Montana, and of course would have done well in North Dakota as a caucus state. You can see just how close these states were the last time around. Wow, 13 to 5 delegates. So he would have done a lot better in North Dakota than what I'm giving him. We just fix that margins. So the state of California, I think he actually probably would have made it extremely close, if not even won it against Hillary Clinton. Because, again, you look at the map, and he would have a lot more state wins here. So I think he would have probably had a bit more momentum here. I think he probably would have had a super narrow victory against Hillary Clinton here. Again, she was very good with Latino voters, but it still would not have been enough to beat her in pledged delegates because D.C.'s right up next. And again, there's a lot of black voters in this uh, district here. So Hillary Clinton probably still would have won the primary. She had more pledged delegates than Bernie Sanders, and the super delegates, they would probably follow 
in favor of her. So it'd probably be something like 2413 to 2021 or something, the super delegates. But if Sanders had a majority of those pledge delegates, he would have won. So let me just go back to see what it would look like just with solely pledge delegates. So Hillary won with like, let me do the math here. <laughs> Something like 80 or 70 delegates of a pledge delegate margin. But again, super delegates would have gone to her pretty much massively here. So Sanders still would have got some super delegates, probably like 20% or so. But Hillary Clinton probably still would have ended up winning the Democratic primary if Biden were to run. But it would have been a much closer race. The only difference is if Biden, when he drops out, he endorses Sanders. That's how I could see Sanders actually winning. But I don't think he would have done that. He didn't do that in the actual 2016. So this is how it would have shook out <clears throat> if Biden ran in the 2020 or no 2016 Democratic primary. It would have been a lot different. Sanders would have done a lot better because he would have split the establishment vote with Hillary Clinton. And she would have split the black vote with Hillary Clinton early on too, which would have helped Sanders in a few states. But uh, other than that, that's what the 2016 primary would have been if Biden were to run. He would have won only one state. Uh, besides that, if you like this video, let me know in the comments down below. If you aren't subscribed already, highly recommend doing so. And uh, yeah, see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.